Hi hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to connect Business Central to external systems through API setup. So external systems in the sense you can connect with any other third party software or even in your Microsoft software as well, okay, the software tool. So in the previous video, I have discussed about what is API, why do we need API, what is OAuth and everything. So you can, if you need to understand what is API, please go back to the previous video and learn about it. So now what we are going to see is what we are going to uh, set up a business central API and we are going to connect that. That is, we are going to access the data uh, in Excel, okay, Microsoft Excel. So the same step you have to follow for any other third party uh, that is uh, endpoint, okay, for any other endpoint, okay. So what we are going to do as the first one, the, oh, so we have few steps. So the, as the first step, we have to set up the user access to BCS API, okay, set up user access. So how you can set up the user access, okay, so that is what we are going to see now. So first you have to um, uh, uh, First, you have to go and access your user, okay? So how you can use, you have to access the user card, okay? Go to the search, that will be, just go and type user, okay? Once if you type user, you can see users option here, okay? So click on the users. So now what it will, uh, you it will show you is what are the, who are the available users for you and uh, you can select your name, okay? Because you're going to try to which user you're going to allocate. That, that is you are the user who are going to provide the, uh, uh, that is the API access, okay? So on the top, you can see that one or more users have still enabled a web service access key because I, I'm going to enable the access key, okay? So click on, uh, I am clicking on mine user card, okay? So click on this user card. You can see that uh, you have all these uh, things, okay? So my web service access key is already enabled. So if you go and select here, okay, you have a three ellipse, right? If you go and select here, it will ask you whether you want to update, that is whether you want to update the uh, access key, okay? So this is what the password, this password is required. So if you haven't done before, then you have to generate the key. If it is already there, then you can um, use that password itself. Okay, if you click S, that will be an another, it will create an another password just to make it nev key never expired. Okay, key never expires. Enable it and click OK. Your new password will be available here. Okay, this is what the password which we have to use and this is the username which we have to use. Okay, this is the first step we have to uh, do. Now what in the same thing, what you have to do is what the another important thing is you have to assign the extension management permission. So where you can go and assign, if you just scroll down, you can see the option here, user group membership. So what are all the things which you can do? Okay, that will be available here. So for that, if your extension management here, I have enabled the extension management. If it is not enabled, please go and enable it. How you can do it? Just if you scroll down and if you type here D365 extension management, it will show you. Okay. So as of now, I'm just using this. Okay, this is what the web service key. Okay, now what we are going to do next, what is our next step is what enable the web services. You have to enable the web services. The second one is go and enable web services. So how you can enable the web service, that is what I'm going to show you. Uh, you can again, you can either do it in the same tab. Okay, I have opened the new tab because for uh, ease of uh, 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 navigation. So you can go and search here, click here and type web services. Okay, once you click web services, you can see here the list of web services. So this is what the list of web services, which is already created by Microsoft itself. Okay, so you can see query is already created 64. It's a so I hope you all know like uh, you can create API through three objects. Okay. So either through query or through page or through coordinates. Okay. So uh, you can see various options. So this, these are all the query already created API for query. These are all the web services for page. Okay. And these are all the web services that is uh, coordinate based API. Okay. So you can go and explore this about this in your visual studio code object designer go and explore how it is set it set it up as a um, uh, api okay now our thing is what this is already created web service either you can use this okay 
so you can see here customer list data if you wanted to use this you can also use this okay you have to use this o data okay so you have to use this o data you have two options o data and soap url if you don't know about o data and soap url and if you wish to know please leave a message please leave your uh, a message in the comment i will definitely help you out and this video is completely about connecting uh, the web services that is connecting business central to uh, this uh, at any other endpoint like now we are going to connect it with the excel okay so that is what uh, the logic behind it so o data okay so o data is like a um, uh, open data okay it's an open data either you can use open data or else soap url but now because since we are going to connect with excel we need o data v4 url okay so either you can use the existing one that is also possible if you wanted to create a new api for your own um, page or a query or code in it then you can sim simply click here new okay once if you click here new it will show you a new space okay wait so once you click new you can see that it it shows a new uh, new arrow okay so this is what the new um object which you can create like either a query or a page or a code in it only these three are available so you can create any one okay so if you have your own uh, page with api okay so you can create it okay so now we are i'm going to just press page and once if you click here if you have created your page so the page id will be uh, will be available here okay so i'm not going to use my page because uh, i haven't created it i can show you a demo when i created so here it shows enormous page okay your page uh, will be listed here got it so you can select the object id from here once you select the object id the object name will also come here so as of now i'm going to select the customer page okay customer list let me just search your customers okay so i am just creating a customers fine so i have created the customers so you can see here that this is a page and you can write your own end like your own service name if you wanted to give customer data or customer data um, uh, whatever if you wanted to give the name okay you can give the name okay customer list data so this is all tenant okay so you if you wanted to go with the multi multi tenants then you can create uh, select it and here the important point is what you have to publish this okay this is to publish so you can select here it is published got it so once if you select here you can see that it creates a two url one is the o data url and second one is the soap url for you okay so you can select the o data okay so uh, this is what i have created the page okay customer page right so let me just open the customer list data is the page which i have that is the, this is what the service name which i have created and this is o data url which is created by uh, itself okay so if you click on this o data url you can see here you have a username and the password username is gm as and the password is what uh, this one okay the web service access key copy this and paste it click sign in so once if you click sign in you can see the data about the customer okay let us wait for that because it is fetching the data okay so you can see that it is showing the first customer okay so this is what access to here in the customer list data okay i have access the customer data right so you can see that this is what the payment okay now what you have to do is what you have to copy this okay either copy this particular uh, uh, link or else you can even copy this o data v4 url okay and go to excel so i'm just going to show you with an excel if you have any other specific application where you have to fetch the business central data please let me know um, so that i can uh, show you what because so let us connect now um, i'm going to data click on the data and click here data data from o data feed okay so click data from o data field and once it is connected you can copy and paste the url so which url we have you can copy and paste this url copy this 
and paste this or else you can also copy the um, URL which we have it there okay so you can also connect it um, copy this URL copy link address and go here and paste it here okay select this go to the advanced and then click OK Once if you click OK, it will actually ask you to enter the username and the password. Okay. If it asks you to enter the username and password, you can enter that username and password. Or else you can simply leave it if it is showing that. Click load. So your data will be loaded here. So it is asking you you have to give the uh, username and the password okay it's loaded uh, if you haven't established the connection okay because uh, you have to give the username as uh, this is your username okay not this okay <laughs> in your user card uh, according to your user card what is the username you have to give and password is your web access key so the web access key you have to give so once if you give that and click on it then it will be connected okay if you have any queries if uh, try this if you have any queries please leave that i can help you out okay so in the upcoming videos i cannot assure it will be the next video or uh, I can tell you that in the upcoming videos, we can see like how to create, how to connect with the REST API. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.